Hello Malty, Manor Managers of Magnificence and thank you to uh, Andreas Istran for that mock mention. Welcome to the Bothy, welcome to Whiskey Reviews, welcome to Ralphie Review 971 Extras. The Extras is in which I talk about something relating to whiskey or another quality spirit which is not strictly speaking a review. It's not a specific review. It goes beyond that review and gives more information, a little bit more depth and analysis, perspective and opinion, which should help you to not just understand particular single malt whiskies and other quality spirits, but know more about the culture and the sort of stuff that we learn as we're going along. So as it speeds up your journey and you're in a much stronger position when you go into a whiskey shop, to buy the better stuff and leave the rest sitting on the shelf. Because there are some good whiskies and there are some bad whiskies. Many whiskies are in between, but as time goes on, there's more bad whiskies because you're developing your palate and your tolerance for average whiskies is reducing. And one of the ways we can learn about whiskey is when the producers tell us something about it. And unfortunately, a significant part of Scotch whisky culture has to do with the producers imposing fairly pedestrian, repetitive marketing on us, showing the happy, shiny people having their happy, shiny moment. And it's all very pretty and it's all nicely and expensively produced but it's all a bit fake and we know it's fake and eventually with experience we just start to find it condescending, patronising and it's insulting our intelligence, particularly when they start bombing us with the words premium, amazing, exclusive, rare and you're looking at what is increasingly a mass-produced product which is homogenised into a a neutered experience because of excessive filtering and then the use of chemically derived colourants just to make it look better. This is the cosmetology, the fake tan that you get in whisky. And for a while we can tolerate it, you know, in some whiskies it doesn't really make much of a difference, but in others it makes a huge difference and we feel defrauded, cheated, robbed of the experience that we have paid a premium for. And we're now at the point where some distilleries, and they generally they're the small distilleries, the innovative distilleries, the sort of distilleries, malt mates, that are going to save Scotch whisky's reputation in the long term by continuing to provide and by investing in providing a real premium experience which merits the money being asked at the till. So when we pay the money for the quality, we actually get the quality. And a good example is a whisky I've just reviewed, and it's Kilhoman Sanig, which is a combination, and it shows it on the front of the label. Um, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it says it in the back of the label. Where's my steampunker? I'm thinking of the box that the whisky came in there. Uh, Sanig has a 70% Oloroso Sherry and 30% Bourbon Cask influence so we're getting real tangible information and when we taste this young whiskey with that the fullness of the flavor we know that fresh casks have been used we know that the use has been very effective and the results are giving us the full cask dynamic between ex bourbon casks and ex sherry casks so we're getting the residual range of flavor that you get from these fresh casks as a result of previous content now there's something else about this bottle which I haven't mentioned yet, but I'm going to mention it now because it's quite significant. And Kilhoman's not the only distillery to do this. Notably Ard Namurkin are doing this and also Compass Box Whiskey are doing this. And that is the use of QR codes. Now let me put into this focus, hopefully that's in focus now. That is a QR code which is essentially 
a barcode that a mobile device can pick up and transmit that code to a website which is the point of reference. So essentially this is the key, this little diagram is the key to unlock access to a specific um, channel. So what you need is on your mobile, you can download the app, is a QR code reader. I don't know if you can see that. I'll hold it into view because it's showing me ooh. Um, but there's a kind of blue box with a red line in it. So what you do is you take the back of the bottle, you hold up the QR, the, the image, the little square, it immediately photographs it. Right, there it is there. And at the top, you get the link. In this case, it's HTTPS, double dot, double dash, discoverkilhoman.com, Sanig. So it's not just taking you to Kilhoman Distillery, which would be useful, but it's also taking you to the specific reference they have on the website, the official website, to the Sanig bottling. This is very useful indeed. In fact, I think it's so important. This is why I'm doing an extras specifically about this. So what we do is we simply scroll down. I tell you, there's a wee video there, and it gives us information. It tells us the nose, the palate, the finish, the cask influence ratios between bourbon and sherry. Uh, it goes down to mention um, the Kilhoman core expressions. So they're highlighting that San is, is a core expression. So it's continuously available and not a one-off small batch. Uh, it mentions the other selection of Kilhoman whiskies which are available and you can just click in the box and you view the rest of our range but I'm going to go back a wee bit here because here you've got a graphic descriptor. I'll hold it up so you can see it and basically the, the distillery that's making this is giving you a visual chart to show the intensity of peat, citrus, richness, oak and spice. So they're giving you some further analytics that there simply wouldn't be room enough on the label for. Uh, but something that really appeals to me is the video. Now, I'm going to play this video and I'm going to let you watch it. So thank you for scanning the QR code for, for Sane and I hope you're enjoying the dram wherever you are in the world. Uh, we're here in the warehouse two at the distillery, uh, and Saneg is uh, one of our core expressions, uh, which we released in 2014 to sit alongside Mackey Bay, which is, was released back in 2012. The difference with this with Saneg is that it's mainly Oloriza Sherry cast matured, 70% uh, in Oloriza Sherry hogsets, and 30% in ex bourbon barrels, and it gives a wonderful, spicy, rich character. Uh, I always describe it as uh, barbecue on a beach. It has this sort of briny, salty character as well, but really smooth and easy drinking. And uh, we hope you enjoy this wherever you are. Uh, and uh, do get in touch and let us know via our social media channels uh, as to, to your comments on the Sane. That's how it's done. In, in, in 2023, where the speed and directness of engagement has never been so available and affordable online through social media. This is the by far the mess, best marketing tool and importantly it's by far the best value marketing tool that allows distillers themselves to keep control of the way they want to present their whiskey to the global market. No poster adverts, no expensive adverts in magazines, and style magazines and lifestyle magazines, no need to be feeding the mouths of those who are preparing press releases for tabloid newspapers, which are the same old, same old, same old. Um, this is direct, 
this is the future, this is the way it should be. The only hiccup that I've encountered here is that, as you could see, the gentleman there was saying, contact us. Now, I did contact them by email on info at kilhoman.com, right, kilhomandistillery.com, uh, and I haven't had a reply. But there's time enough yet, fingers crossed, I might get a response. My inquiry was basically saying, I'm doing a review of your whiskey. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me to add to the review? But that is now for another day. Uh, I would conclude by saying, distillers, when you have email addresses for people to contact you, um, if they're legitimate messages, it's a good idea to respond. It makes you look good. Just saying, just sharing. And uh, cheers, folks. I would conclude by saying that's a perfect little video that you were watching there. Sure, I had to put the volume up a wee bit, but we're right next to the microphone there, so I'm sure you heard it all. Uh, and if you didn't, you can find it on the official website, uh, kilhomanwhiskey.com. Just double check that. I try not to give you false information over and above my usual bloopers, right? It's discoverkillhoman.com, right? Discoverkillhoman.com. There you go. Now you know. But these little videos, they don't actually tell you that much. But importantly, they are a visual and immediate connection. The most effective connection the most controllable connection by producers to their valued customers. Because there are passive consumers who would be too lazy to follow up on a QR code. But in more and more, when it comes to Scotch single malt whiskey, well, the good stuff anyway, people are really curious. It's why people visit distilleries, go to whiskey festivals, go to Fee Seal, join whiskey clubs and have a quite a wide social scene around whiskey, which I have to say the Scotch whiskey industry and the bourbon industry in particular are very, very, very lucky to have and should be more pro proactive in connecting directly with their customers in the most efficient way they can. It's called a QR code. Hope oh, you enjoyed this. I'm Ralphie. This is an extras, 971 extras. And um, when you pop back again for my next review, I shall be reviewing, oh, I might be reviewing a bourbon, but I might be reviewing a rum, or I might review an age-stated Scotch whiskey. Well, you'll just have to wait and see, folks. Whatever I review, one thing's assured, I'll keep it quality. Bye-bye.